So hello and welcome and today we're going to get started on making an Android currency converter. So we're going to uh, we're going to cause Chaching by the way, copyright. So if any of you use that name I'm going to sue the hell out of you. So I think uh, I'm going to try to break down these tutorials into this this particular tutorial at least into three parts because uh, I think this one could get kind of long because we have to do a bunch of things. So the first one we're just gonna lay out the the look of the app. The second one we're gonna do uh, the internet part. So because it's a currency converter, it needs to fetch the latest uh, currency values from somewhere. So we're gonna do that in the the second tutorial. In the third one, we're gonna join everything up to, to make it work the way we want it to work. So about the UI here, yeah, so I have a sketch here. This is going to be an app. So one activity like this is going to be a text box where you, you can fill in the US dollar amount. I mean, this is kind of a lame currency converter, but for simplicity, I think it's it's good. You're going to enter the dollar amount basically. So if you enter enter hundred dollars, and then you're going to press do it here it's gonna go out over the internet it's gonna get the latest uh, currency values from a web service and I'll show you that web service in a minute uh, get the latest currency values gonna download those and it's gonna use those currency values to produce this British pounds and the euros so it's gonna convert it based on the actual values that are out there because you can't hard code currency values into the app because they change daily so you need that accurate uh, mm, currency exchange as they are right now so here's gonna be the we're gonna use ac action bar Sherlock so basically the action bar it's a plugin it's a, it's a library that enables you to easily implement the action bar on versions on versions of of Android from 2.33 all the way to the current whatever the current version is for some for three and here we're gonna have a uh, like a little icon that goes into like the about so you know like uh, I don't know like an eye maybe so uh, this this opens up another activity which should have drawn that which basically just says about this app so about some info about yourself so you can brag on there and maybe a, a link to your website or something so that's about it from there you can just go back to, to this one right so that's what we're going to try to do so about the the currency the web service for the exchange rates go to openexchangerates.org uh, click here on get instant access now if if you are doing this a currency exchange app for real you're gonna have to find like if people are actually going to be using this app you need to find like a you need to pay for one of these or you need to find another source for these uh, currency rates because basically so the unlimited one obviously if if your app is very popular, it's the one you want to get, or you, if you can think you can find these rates somewhere else for free, that's fine. But we're going to use the forever free plan. So it's basically a limited plan, but for us, it's, 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 it's fine. You only get a thousand requests per month. So that's obviously not enough it's, it's, if it's a real app and you only get hourly updates. You don't get up to the minute updates and no HTTPS, which we don't care about anyway why, why, why do we want to protect the currency exchange information so you click on the forever free plan uh, you sign in you give them the, your name and your email and they basically grant you access immediately and you get this a quick start guide so you're gonna get an app ID uh, I'm just hiding this app ID because I don't want you guys using my app ID and then we will all be hitting it with with my so this is the way they identify who it is that's using their web service basically so you're gonna get one of those an app ID then you get this URL it also has the app ID in it so and this is the base URL so basically what they're saying is 
if you combine this URL with that uh, URL and your app ID and you call their service you, you, you basically you call this URL you get the result which is the let, let's just do it so I, I have this URL somewhere here. Uh, copy that open up a new window paste that in press enter you see uh, Internet Explorer wants to download this latest uh, JSON. Gonna open it. Open it. To, you can open this with Notepad or something like that. Uh, the Notepad that's built into your computer is fine. So what this is is a JSON file. So let me, yeah. So it's a, does it already recognize it? It's what this is is a JSON file. So a JSON is a a is a text based data interchange format i think that's the sort of the correct de definition if you if you want to find out more about json you can you can over here so right so basically we get you, because you can't obviously you can't transmit java objects or something like that over over the internet or, or like because these are just things in memory you need to serialize them so you take this object in memory and you turn it into text and it's sort of structured text so you can have objects these are different uh, JSON structures you can have objects arrays uh, all these the value strings and so on and so forth so what you get from open exchange basically is I haven't even looked at it. I think it's an object that contains right so an object that contains some values and contains an array of rates right that's correct I believe that's correct or oh, let me just double check that to see if that's semantically correct here object string value an array. Right, right. So I think this is actually an object, and this is inside is also an object. Because I don't see the little array brackets, but it doesn't matter. Basically, what we are going to do with once we receive this uh, JSON file, we're going to we, we so these these are all based on the dollar. So what they're saying here is uh, let me find British pounds. Yeah. How do you write British pounds? Uh, okay, Australian dollar for the lazy yeah? okay so basically what it's saying is one dollar is one point zero nine eight seven nine Australian dollars so right British great British pound oh, what's so great about it anyway so one dollar is zero point six three nine so you get what you're saying so we're going to get this J JSON file from the web service then we're going to come down to this GBP and we're going to get that value there. And we're going to use that to convert our, our money. So we're going to take the, 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 dollar, the dollar amount, multiply it by, by that value, and we're going to get the British pounds. And the same for the euros. Right, so that's it. So I would recommend you sign up for that. Sign up for Open Exchange. Right, so let's get started. I'm going to. I'm going to launch Eclipse here and we'll get on our way.